Radio Pulpit, 657 AM. Hi family, how are you? I'm Sibongile Mofuking and I'm excited to be talking to you this day. You know, the Lord is so good. He just called me and reminded me to remind you that you are strong and you are strong way beyond what you think. You are strong way than, you know, you can even imagine. And that's why sometimes you're going through the things that you are going through. Have you asked yourself, why are you going through all of that? Financial challenges, social challenges, career challenges. So, you know, you meet with people who are saying, but is God still there with me? Does he care? Does he still love me? But I just want to remind you that you are strong. And uh, let me remind you that the enemy is so afraid of you. And that's why you're going through that. So there is no reason for you to give up and give in and say, "Uh uh-uh, because I'm going through this, now I'm going to let go. I'm, I'm going to give up. I'm going to, you know, retreat. No retreating, no going back, but we are moving forward. I'm going to take you to the book of, um, Numbers 22, and we are going to start from verses 2. And it says, Now Balak, the son of Zippor, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites. And Moab was exceedingly afraid of the people because they were many. And Moab was sick with dread because of the children of Israel. Now, they were afraid of them because of what God had done to the Egyptians. And now all the nations have heard of what God did to them. And they became afraid. Now, what happened when they became afraid? They attacked. Everybody was attacking. Now, the children of Israel met with Och of Bashan. They met with uh, uh, King Sihon of the Amorites. And uh, now Balak. (laughs) Balak is afraid. And he calls on Balaam to say, come curse them. Because of what? Because of being afraid. And so the enemy will do everything that he does to make sure that he discredits you, he discourages you. Um, He tells you even that God doesn't care about you, that even your God is failing you or you are failing. And so he'll tell you all the negatives. But be encouraged. Know that the enemy is afraid of you. And that's why he's doing all that he's doing. Um, the Lord took me to the children of Israel coming out of, uh, you know, of Egypt because, you know, I was also going through a dark time in my life. And I remember how I wanted to rebel. <laughs> and I went to the Lord. I was like, I need, I want to rebel. I want, I'm so angry. I've gone through this for, since I was three years old, I've been going through this. I don't understand. Uh, where were you? What, where are you? What's happening? And the Lord said, it's because of what you carry. Now, the book of Colossians from uh, chapter 1, uh, verses 26, it says that this, the, the, the mystery that has been hidden for so long has been revealed. And that mystery is Christ in you. Christ in you. And that's what the enemy is fighting. Christ in you. The Christ in you is what the enemy is fighting because he knows that you're great, because he knows that you are going to do exploits, because those who trust in the Lord or who know their God will do exploits. And because of that, he's afraid of you. Mm. So you shouldn't be afraid of the enemy. You shouldn't give in. The enemy believes everything that the Lord says about you. When he says you are blessed, when he says everything, you know, all the good things that God says about you and that his promises to you are yes and amen in him, you should believe it because the enemy believes it. Priscilla Sire says, it's so sad that the enemy believes all of this, but you don't. And you are filled with power. You have power in you. You have power in you. You are carrying God in you. You are carrying Christ in you. The book of Second Corinthians 4 verses 7 reminds us that we, ha- we, we, we are earthen vessels that are carrying treasure. And that is Christ in us. It says, cast down but unconquered. I, I need you to know that. Cast down but unconquered. But we have treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. And so you shouldn't be afraid of your challenges. Mm -mm. Your challenges should be afraid of the God that you carry. But you are going through what you're going through because of who you carry, because of who you are. You are not just, you know, common. You got Christ in you. The TPT version says, we are like common clay jars. It doesn't say we are common, but it says we are like common clay jars that carry this glorious treasure within so that this immeasurable power will be seen as God and not of us. 
And so may you be strengthened in the Lord and always remind yourself or strengthen yourself in the Lord. Whenever you're faced with all that's happening around you, sometimes, you know, it, it, it's, it's so painful, but run back to the Lord. Run back to him who has called you. Run back to him. He is your strength. Run back to him. He will, you know, bring you out. He will strengthen you. And let me tell you what you're going through. It's going to make you a better person. It's going to make you much stronger. But there is no reason to give in, not to give out. The enemy is afraid of you. That's why you're faced with it. Keep going. Keep going. And you will make it through. So be reminded today, you are stronger than you can even think. Download the Radio Pulpit app on your phone and be in contact with your daily companion 24 hours a day.